What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am at Oak Creek Golf Club. I've got my buddy Cody helping me today behind the camera and I'm just going to be playing straight up golf nine holes today trying to see if I can break even. It's been a long time since I filmed and played golf so I'm excited to get back into it and hopefully bring you guys some more content coming soon. We're starting on the back nine today so this is hole 10, par 5, Pretty straight away, it kind of has some turns here and there. All right guys, I got driver in hand right here, and I'm gonna go at this bunker out there in the distance with a little bit of a cut. Um, that bunker's pretty far out there, so I know that I can't reach it, but driver in hand, first swing of the day, just going to put one in the fairway. Hold that one a little left. I think I'm in the left side of that bunker over there. Um, but par five, I'm just gonna try to put it in the fairway and see if I can get on the green. I sort of got a little quick there on my takeaway and my follow through, so I hooked my drive a little bit to the left side over this bunker. I'm gonna have about 220 into this green, I believe, but it's okay, because there's no trouble over here. Punch that one out to the right a little bit. I'm still in the fairway, probably about 70 yards to the pin, um, but it's okay. I'm laying up and we should have a good shot at the green here. All right, so my ball ended up just down there in the fairway. I've got about 100 yards to this green. It looks like it's a middle pin. Um, we just recently had rain, so the greens are gonna be a little bit squishy, I assume. Um, I'm gonna take a 56 and a 52 degree and try to fly it towards the pin because I know it won't spin off too much or bounce too hard. So we're gonna try to fly the number. Here we go. Okay, I kind of psyched myself out there with the distance wise because I had a 56 um, and I was only 88 yards and I was afraid of going long. So I thinned it. However, I did get a generous roll and I am on the green putting for birdie. Still have a good chance to make birdie here at worst par. Let's see what we can do. All right, just up the hill, right to left putt here. Gonna be aggressive, right edge. Nothing too much to worry about here, just a little three footer back up the hill for par. Even through hole number one, it's a good start. Honestly, after that first tee shot, par is a good score from there. Hole number two coming up, par three. Lately I've been filling my par threes, I, I don't know, for some reason I just love the confidence that I have in my par three game right now. I can be a little bit aggressive with my irons because I've been working on them a lot lately. Um, over the course of the last few months, I've had college season and I have just been grinding every day on the golf course, working on my wedges, my irons. I haven't spent too much time with the driver, so I'm missing that a little bit. But my iron game feels super confident right now. I've got all my distances down, so I feel super comfortable on my par threes. So coming up on this one right now, 187 into this par three. Like I had just mentioned, I've been working on my yardages a lot just to get stock numbers for all of my clubs because I'm really starting to grind and try to dial in my game because I have spring season coming up in a few months. And I spent a few hours on the range over the last couple of weeks just working on getting my numbers consistent. So I have a seven iron that goes 188 yards and that's my stock number for this club. The pin's 187 yards, so I know that I can swing confidently with the seven iron and it's not gonna go too far. 177 got seven iron here, stock shot for me. Just gonna try to hit a little draw. There's a little bit of a breeze coming off the left side, but with my draw, it shouldn't do too much. I pulled that one a little bit. I'm a little long left on the fringe. I should still be putting there. That's been my miss as of late, is a little bit of a hook to the left. Plus it'll go a little bit longer than I wanted to. I hit seven iron there. I think it was the right club. We're not in too much trouble though. This is the putt that we have right here. Onto the green. It's gonna move left to right. Should be pretty quick down this hill. All right. That was a pretty good lag putt there, I have a foot. Par on number two, moving on to hole number three. Another thing that I've been working on too throughout the last couple of months when I've been practicing is, is practicing with a purpose. So for the last couple of months, I've been working on these putting drills, six feet, nine feet, 12 feet, and then my lag putts for like 40 feet. So 
I'm a very feel player when it comes to my short game. So in situations where I have a really long putt like that, I just trust my hand, trust the line, and trust my feel to get the ball close to the hole, if not make it. Hole number three is a straightaway par four. I've got bunkers there on the left side, a one close to us on the right. I've got driver in hand. I'm just gonna aim down the right side of the fairway and play a little bit of a draw. Put myself in the fairway so I can have a wedge in towards the green. All right, driver in hand here, gonna aim down the right side of the fairway and play a draw. All right, drew that one to the left side of the fairway. It got a nice kick back into it off of the top of that bunker. Another fairway, here we go. Standing over that drive, I just told myself to focus more on my tempo, not really where the ball's gonna go, but again, back to my really feel swing that I have. When my tempo is on, I have that natural draw. If I get too quick, then it kind of turns into a hook. But this is where we're laying in the fairway right now. We have a nice look up to the green. About 110 yards here. I'm gonna hit 56. I think I'm gonna hit a full 56 here. Again, try to flight it. Um, it's not gonna spin too much when it gets up to the green. So hopefully I can get this one to stick close. All right, caught that one, perfect. It flew it just, I think just a little bit past the pin and it rolled back down. So we have another look for birdie. Ground is so wet right now. I took so much mud with me, but I got away with it. Got to take that positive and keep rolling. All right, walking up to the green. We're in here about 15 feet-ish, 15, 20 feet for birdie. Super smooth wedge there. I just wanted to make sure that I made contact with the ball first. Anything before the ball would probably result in me chunking it but I hit a nice 56 in there, probably landed about 115 to a 110 pin. We're looking at a downhill right to left slider here. Probably gonna play this almost two cups out, especially with the slower greens and anticipating kind of a snap towards the end. But we're gonna put a good stroke on this and try to make birdie get ourselves the one under here. A uh, little bit of a misread on my part. Looking at it now from this angle, this hill is actually a lot steeper than it looked from back there. So now I understand why it snapped so much, but it's okay. Another par, even through three, moving on. All right, moving on, hole number four here. It's a short one, 368 yards to the green. There's bunkers on the left, bunker green side, and then those bushes come into play on the right side, Cody said, so I've got two iron, and I'm just gonna put one in the fairway. Kind of turn that one a lot to the left again. I can't tell if it went in that bunker, if it stayed just to the right of it. But I just tried to hit a little fairway finder with my two iron, overcooked it a little bit. It's been my miss as of late, but we'll see when we get up there. All right, this is where my ball ended up on the left side of the fairway by this bunker. I actually got lucky and stayed out of it. 111 yards to this pin. Again, guys, it's soft greens today, so I'm just gonna try to fly it up there. I've got a 52 that goes exactly 111 on my full swings. I have to kind of anticipate the ball jumping out of this rough, so it may go a little bit further. I don't know if I'll take a full 52 swing or not. Pin's kind of on the right side. There's a lot of room left, so I'm gonna go at the pin and try to play a little draw into this and hopefully put it within five to 10 yards of the flag. I hit that really solid. The contact was great, but I choked down on the club, so it took a lot off of it. I ended up short right of the green, so I'll have to get up and down for par. All right, so my ball ended up just a little bit short. I'm about 40 yards to this pin. I'm gonna have Cody stand up here by the pin so you guys can see, because I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the pin from down there. But I've got a 60 degree, and I'm gonna play it as like a 35 yard shot. Maybe it'll come up just a little bit short on the fringe and roll on. However, it is all back uphill, so I will try to be aggressive at the same time and try to get up and down for par here. Not terrible, not great. A little bit more than I wanted to. I kind of caught it a little bit thin, and then it jumped a lot when it hit the green, a lot more than I anticipated. But we have a downhill putt about six to nine feet here. I'm gonna try to save par. Oh, it stayed straight. Might have pushed it a little bit. 
Well, that's not exactly what you want to see. Just kind of had a little bit of a misread. Maybe push my putt a little bit, or I just missed it completely. Bogey here on number five puts me at one over, four holes to play, still searching for our first birdie. Hole number five coming up is a drivable par four. I'm gonna go for it, see if I can put myself on the green, give myself a chance to have a wedge in my hand and be able to throw it close to the flag. Little bit of a dog leg left par four here. I don't know if you could see, but the flag is just on the other side of that hill by the tree. 345 in these conditions, it's not drivable right now because it's super wet, but I've got driver in hand. Going to still attempt to swing pretty hard at it and hit a draw. Like I said, I want to give myself a wedge into this green and hopefully be able to chip it close and tap in a bird. Still just looking for that one drive to get my confidence back. All right, that one was well struck. I didn't hook it that time. I actually hit it pretty dead straight. It looks like I'm kind of on top of the hill in the fairway, which will give me a good look at the green. I think we're gonna be having a, a downhill shot for our next one. That drive was a big confidence booster right there for me. Before I took my swing, I told myself, slow your hands down a little bit, swing a little bit more with your body, and really feel myself getting through that ball and turning and rotating. Put myself in prime position here, 83 yards from this pen. I've got 60 degree in hand. We're gonna hit a full 60 and try to get this to land right next to the flag. Chunked that one quite a bit. Not a good wedge shot there for me. I'm uh, still looking probably like 30 feet towards the pen. Just caught it a little heavy, but it's okay. We're still on the green, we have a putt for birdie. All right, not a bad position here. Uphill putt, left to right, the whole way. It's gonna be slow. It's one of those feel ones, again, where I have to just pick my line and be confident and know that I'll hit the right pace. Let's see if we can sink it. Hit it, hit it. Oh, I feel like that was the line. I just hit it too soft, but it looks like we're in that three foot circle. I'm still gonna tap it in for par. I don't typically make a lot of birdies when I play. I just try to limit the amount of bogeys that I make. I mean, I'm not in trouble right now. One over through five holes. I got, I got to take advantage of these next couple of holes and just really be aggressive and go for these pins. I've got to be confident going at that number. Moving on now, hole number six. All right, here we are, hole number six. This is the number one handicap on the golf course. 430 yard par four. Got driver in hand, gonna let one eat here. It's got a long ways to the green, so we got to be aggressive if we want to make birdie. All right, right down the middle of the fairway with a little baby cut. Remember how I said a couple holes ago, all it takes is one swing for me to really feel the confidence with the driver. Well, I think finally made it happen. Something clicked dead center of the fairway. All right, so my ball ended up down there on the right side of this fairway. I have to hit back uphill towards that pin. I'm gonna have Cody go up to the green so he gets a good green side angle of this shot coming in. 110, 115 yards. I'll have a 52 in my hand. We're gonna try to make it, put it close, make a birdie, spark something to happen. All right, so I ended up pretty long here on the green. I misjudged how far it was from down there because it was hard to see. 25, 30 footer here. With these long putts like this, I'm not really looking to make it. I mean, yes, it would be nice. The probability of me making these putts is so low. So for me, my objective and my goal for each of these putts is to put it within that three foot circle where I can tap it in, just make par and move on to the next one. Looking at a birdie putt here though, hopefully the golf gods are on my side and can help me make this putt. That was such a tricky putt. I underestimated how difficult that putt actually was. Walking away with another par here. 316 yard par four, dog leg left. The green is just over here on the left side. I'm going for it. I've got driver in my hand. Based off of how I hit the, hit the drive on the last hole, I feel super confident with my driver and I'm gonna just try to take it at the green. I'm looking for a birdie and we'll do whatever it takes to get there right now. Hole number seven, let's go. Well, 
I hit that one really, really solid. Carried it left over this bunker. Cody says it opens up past the bunker. Hopefully I carried it far enough there. We could be really, really good or really, really bad. We'll just have to see when we get there. All right, coming up to the green, this is where my ball ended up. Here's the flag right here, straight uphill chip. I'm gonna try to fly it, hopefully chip it in and make it. I need myself a birdie. I got my 60 degree. I'm just gonna try to fly it there up the hill. Hopefully get a little skip and maybe put it in, put it close. Up the hill, a little left to right. Gonna be confident and smooth with the stroke. Try to put it in. Whoa, I hammered that. <laughs> that was so slow. I don't think I could have hit that putt much harder without going off of the green. But I guess I might have been going a little bit into the green, but it just chewed up the ball. But par. Hey, we'll take par. Moving on to hole number eight. We gotta hurry because it's getting dark. Par three up next. Here we go. All right, on to hole number eight. Par three, 186 yards. I've got five iron. I'm gonna try to hit a little cutty five into there. Because it is cold, I know it's gonna take a little bit off of the shot. So I've got five. I'm gonna start this on the middle of the green and hopefully it just cuts right a little bit towards the pin. All right, well I did the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit a cut, I hit a draw, but we're up there. I can't see anything from here, but I think we're close to the green. All right, rolling up to the green, it looks like my ball did just get to hang on to that edge right there. I'm gonna putt, it's downhill. Shouldn't be super quick. These greens have been slow all day. Little bit of a right to left putt there from the other side. Let's see if we can make our first birdie, get ourselves back to even. All right, good par there on this par three, exactly what I wanted going into 18. One more chance at a birdie on this par five coming up. Let's get it. All right, final hole of the day. Hole number nine is a dog leg left, par five, 540 yards. I'm gonna take this just to the left of those bunkers up there on the right hand side with the draw. It's a super long par five. Don't know if I'll be able to get there in two, but we're gonna hit a good drive and try to give ourselves a chance. All right, I think we're in a good position here. May be able to get to it in two. All right, we have 200 yards to the flag, 180 yards to carry the water. I've got five iron in my hand. I know that this is like my 205, 210 club, but I will be hitting a little bit of a cut into this pin position. It's a big green. I'm gonna try to aim left side of it and hit somewhere in the middle. I heard it hit, it was pretty dead straight. I think we're on the green. Or maybe a little long, I have no idea. But that was like the best strike I've had all day with my irons. Just gotta cruise up there and see, but I think we're on the green. All right, so we're green side here. Ball is laying nicely. I'm gonna put the wedge down and grab the putter. Give myself two putts here to try to make birdie and get myself back to even par. I know this putt's going left to right pretty hard. I'm gonna try to take it out towards the slope and just let it travel down. Okay, not my best attempt. I think I took it a little too high to the left so it killed some speed. I should have probably taken a little bit more straight. It didn't break a whole lot. I played for a lot of break, but there wasn't much. All right, nothing too crazy. A little bit left to right, back up the hill. I'm gonna put firm pace on it, see if we can make it in the day with the bird. Boom! Took me nine holes to get there, but we finally made it, which brings me back to even par, and the sun's down. Perfect timing. That is gonna be a wrap on today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I felt like I was scrambling a lot. Uh, definitely could have put myself in some better positions on the green. I gotta work on my wedges more and just dial in those distances. Shout out Cody and Oak Creek for having me out today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. 
Till next time, guys. We'll see you later.